bring us I'll bring us back. And I think one of the reasons I think it's this is an important moment because because you and I both do this, and I think it's important to cope. Uh, we look for humor, and we look right. for we look for ways to laugh and enjoy ourselves. And this this has affected me in a way, the, the George Floyd, and as somebody speaking from a place of privilege and a place of being white in America, um, that it hurts so bad and I can't imagine being in the shoes of somebody of color right now. And one of my mechanisms is to, is to look for humor and to look, uh, look for things that, that kind of take me away for a moment, which is, you know, an unfortunate reality that African Americans can't can't do right now. They they are consistently uh, in this position of, of grief because of this this privilege. But yeah, it's we need to we we need, right. Uh, we, we we do need to laugh because what's going on right now is so sad, and it's been going on uh, since yeah, before '68. Absolutely. Well before that, and um, I don't know. I'm speaking for myself now. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the answer is going to be. I just don't know. And, you know, AJ and I were talking and the three of us were talking. I don't think any of us know. Like, you know, what's going to what's going to happen um, to uh, uh, to try to uh, get things back on track and yeah, bring us together and in, I think I think it helps to listen. Um, you know, there's a lot of guys in the Ring of Honor locker room um, that have been talking about this for, for years. And again, they, there's some guilt on my end. You know, guys like Shane Taylor and Kenny King about, you know, they have stories about being pulled over. And, sure. and the reason is because they're black. And, you know, I think it's hit me harder. Uh, you know, my sister-in-law, my brother-in-law are both black. Uh, their children will be black and are black. And, um, you know, I don't have to worry every time I go to the grocery store with a mask on if someone's going to interpret me as somebody that might stick up the store or commit a crime just based on the color of my skin. Um, they, they do right now in this America. So, And in general, in pro wrestling throughout the years, mm -hmm. it was very, and it's, it's been very difficult for uh, black men to, you know, yeah. Be successful. It it, it mirrored mirrored society. Not mm -hmm. getting paid properly. Yeah. Uh, not getting opportunities. Um, it can be argued that certain ones did. And oh, what about junkyard dog? What about the you know? But yeah. overall, yeah. And until we walked, I can't. I feel funny even talking about it because I'm not walking in a black man's shoes. Sure. So, it's. Uh, I just hope that. You know, we can get this uh, sorted out. I do too. And I think the thing you said at the end is the most important. I think the thing you said at the end is to try to try and at least imagine what it's like walking walking in their shoes. And I think that's how we kind of recognize some of the the privileges we have right now that that black folks in America and then people of color in general just usually aren't afforded based on solely on the color of their skin. And um, but yeah, back to the, um, you know, back to the humor. <laughs> that's, yeah, we'll try to, we're we'll trying, take it. you know, we, we, And I, I apologize, this has got, this has got me bummed out all week. No, I, uh, no, is, I, I, I'm glad we're getting together, you know, we, we all need, uh, we all need to, it, it's, 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 it's a real conundrum. We need to totally focus on what's going on, but yeah. we also need to try to take a break from it. Mm -hmm. um, so we're doing this podcast uh, and hopefully some people can, uh, get an hour or so of, uh, uh, distraction, yeah. if nothing else.